No, <laughs> because nobody knows why this stupid symbol, what the wheel, became a symbol of Ukrainian culture. It happened in the end of the 19th century. Nitilevitsky wrote some simple vaudeville. But then he shown it to Mikhail Ostrovitsky, and Mikhail Ostrovitsky transformed it to forms that we are really know now. And for years, this piece worked in theaters and was very popular. But can you imagine, in 1961, Ukrainian regisseur from uh, Dovzhenka Studia, his name is absolutely Ukrainian, Ivanov, Surname, came to his director and shown him this piece. Oh, fuck it, I don't like it. But what did he do? He came to the communist leader and one and a half hour told him about this piece, about how interesting it would be. And can you imagine that man, that communist leader, beloved it? And the story began. The history began. Oleg Borisov, the, at that time he was not so famous, became this role, nobody knows by the way why, because uh, that was a two pretendants from Moscow, of course, from Bakhtango Theater. And Ronya Prokopovna, according to the, some rumors, was the wife of one of the scenarists. And can you imagine, in reality, Ronya Prokopovna was absolutely incredible, stunning lady, but scenarists put in her nose some kind of special Rashiritili. And <laughs> even at the time of making the movie, he lost his teeth, tooth, and Director Ivanov told her, Bronichka, please leave it. And you can see from the movie that she is without one teeth, and they used even nails for creating this sorry fucking hairdo on her hair. Because in reality, it was an incredibly beautiful lady. But in the movie, some of us maybe remember that she is so ugly, she is so manner, and she is so unattractive. And let's talk about the person of uh, Mr. Boris. Boris. Just a short story. Parisov became so popular that our beloved Ukrainian actors hate him and wrote a special letter to the communist leaders that Parisov now is uh, so mannerism, so proud and so forth. And only Ada Rogovtseva didn't sign this letter against him. And after then, Parisov refused to play here in Kiev and uh, moved to Moscow. It's a sad story. But at the end of my story, I just want to recommend you, do not touch the noses of this person. <laughs> person, Because in this case, you will have a free drink in the nearest time. Just free. <laughs> and do not touch the bug on the back of the bed of this Oleg <laughs> Parisov, because it will bring you maybe money, maybe success. And do not uh, touch the hands and shoulders because it would lead to the successful marriage. Thank you so much for your attention.